All right, good day, folks. So, quick video. What's the difference between a lifting beam and a spreader bar? All right, it's one of those things where people get confused on the difference between them all the time, and they, when they're talking about it, they seem to get one mixed up with the other. But they are quite completely different. So, what we'll have a look at first, right here beside me. All right, we've got a lifting beam. So, with the lifting beam, if we take a look at it, all right goes all the way down the back there, but you can notice it only has the one central lifting point. All right, so a lifting beam is used if you've got a lack of head height. All right, whether that be because the load's too high and you don't have enough boom on, or because you're working indoors, whatever the case may be, but that allows you to put the crane hook straight onto the centre lifting point here, which is going to allow you to then lift the load without having those big long slings going from the outside up to the crane hook. So if you haven't got a lot of headroom, the lifting beam is the ideal piece of equipment to use for it. Obviously this one's a little bit old and decrepit and it's only here as a demonstration. It's not one that we would typically use. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go over and we'll have a look at the spreader bar and we'll have a look at the difference. Okay, so we'll see you in a minute. Okay, back again. Here we are, we're outside and we're at a spreader bar. Now. With a spreader bar, it, what a spreader bar does is you've got your lifting points on the outside of each side of the spreader bar. Now, what you've got to be careful of, if I was to have a look at this spreader bar, we'll stand back so we can see the whole thing together. All right. Now, the problem with that spreader bar is when you look at it, you may think that it can be used as either, and quite commonly they can. So if you had a spreader bar on the front of a fretter, it's also got a central lifting point that you could also use as a lifting beam as well. However, make sure you do read the tag before you use it. Now the reason for that is if we come over and have a look at the tag on this, it tells us we can only use two legs and at a maximum angle of 60 degrees. So what that means is even though you can see this lug in the top of it, that's not to be used for lifting. Okay. So make sure you always check the data plate and you follow whatever instructions it tells you onto the data plate. All right, so I hope that helps you figure out the difference between the two. If you do have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comments section and I'll try and get back to you. All right, thanks for your time.